Today I would just like to go over how to actually use LibreSprite, which is the program that we use. So when we hop into LibreSprite, the first thing that you're going to notice is this little home page and we have a new file and an open file option. So we're going to create a new file and you can make this whatever size you like, but I'm just going to stick with a small canvas and I usually within my course stick with a 16 by 16 based canvas. I'm going to keep all this stuff exactly how it is. So we're just going to click OK. And now we have our canvas opened in LibreSprite. So the first tool that we'll use is the scroll tool. So when you scroll in using your mouse, you can actually zoom this canvas in. Same thing if you scroll it back, you can zoom this image out. And if you click the middle mouse button, you can actually drag and pan the screen around which is obviously an extremely important part of creating your art is just being able to move your canvas around freely. So yeah, that is awesome. The next tool I would like to show you is this little preview tab down here. If you click on this one-to-one -one ratio here, it's gonna pop up the preview tab. And so this is basically like a second canvas, um, which is gonna project the same canvas that you have here, but you can see it from a different size. So if I were to draw, by default, we're in the pencil tool, which you can also just press the B button and we can select that here. Or you can come over here to this hotkey panel and we can select the pencil tool, as you can see, shortcut B. And we can start to draw something onto our canvas with the left click. And as you can see, it's gonna mimic in our preview tab. And we can zoom this out. It's not gonna affect our canvas. And this would mainly be used for if I'm zooming really far in, um, I can still see the entire image here in my preview tab. If you press E is the erase tool. So that's going to be able to erase the images. And the final tool that we'll be using is the selection tool, which is right above the pencil. You can also press M as a shortcut to select this. So left click and drag over your image and then it's gonna select this, and then you can just left click and drag this around the screen. If you come over here to the corner, you can resize and stretch this image. And finally, if you come a little bit more outside of this box, you'll see that your arrow changes again. And so we, this is for rotating your sprite. You can also press delete to delete everything inside your selection. So control Z is gonna be your undo button and control Y is gonna be your redo button. So this is extremely handy for when you make a mistake and you just want to undo your last action. The last thing I would like to cover today is on colors. As you can see on the left side, we have our color picker where we can select colors and we can also create our own colors with this hue changer as well. If I select this color here and we go back to our pencil tool, I'm gonna to draw this on screen and I'm gonna grab a green color and I'm gonna do the same thing. So now we have two colors. Currently, as you can see, we are selected on this green color here. This is our primary color. Now, if I would like to just swap into a different color on our canvas that we don't have selected, all you have to do is pull down the Alt key and that's gonna swap you to the eyedropper tool and we can left click to then make this our primary color that we're using for our pencil tool. Finally, just to end off this lecture, I'd like to quickly create a character with you and then show you how to actually save and export your image. So I'm gonna grab this nice brown color here and I'll just make a rectangle for the body of our player. Just keep in mind that I'm not actually teaching any techniques here. We're just creating something that we can use to save. So now I'll grab a lighter brown color and I'll use this for the head of our character. Something like that. And maybe we want this guy to have a bit of a jaw so the uh, head starts to jut out a little bit. I'm gonna actually go to the erase tool with E and just take off these top two pixels to round off the head. And finally, I'll go back to my darker color and I'm just gonna add little, little chunky feet onto the bottom of our torso. The last thing that I want to do is just give this character some eyes. So I'll just dot some pixels onto the 
head and call it a day. There we go. We've created a super, super simple character. So now the next thing to do is actually save and export this image. So saving, the advantage of saving obviously is that you can revisit this whenever you would like. Um, so saving is extremely important and exporting is also a very important tool for doing things like uploading your files to, again, share with the game dev forums, or even if you wanted to share this with your friends or eventually start creating video games, you're gonna need to export your image to a file that's actually readable in most game engines. So the first thing will be the save and I'll just go up to the top left here and click on file. And then we can click on the save as, or you can press control shift S and that will bring up your file explorer. So right now it's saving this right to my desktop. You can go in and create a folder somewhere on your computer and get set up wherever you would like to save these images. But for me, I'm good on the desktop. So down here where it says file name, I'm just gonna change this to character. And if you like, you can save this as a .ase file, and that's gonna allow you to revisit this in Libre Sprite or A Sprite exactly as you left it. So I'm going to click OK. And now I will show you an easy way to export your image. If you're using something like Libre Sprite, a really easy way to do this is to go to the top left again, click on the Sprite tab, and then we're gonna go to Sprite Size. And you can actually rescale your image to be larger because pixel art is extremely tiny. So if you would like to actually show your work to other people, you might need to upscale your image. So because this is a 16 by 16 pixel sizing, I'm just going to upscale this eight times. So we'll create an 800 percentage scale, which is obviously going to just increase the canvas size eight times its regular size. Make sure you have nearest neighbor enabled and we'll click OK. So now we have an extremely large version of our character. And then I'll do the same thing. So we're going to go file and then we're going to go to save as. And then instead of saving this as character.ase like we did before, I'm actually going to save this out as character backspace that here and do character.png. The PNG file is extremely versatile and used in pretty much every software you can imagine. So I'm going to save mine out as a character.png, click OK, and we have successfully created a PNG or a picture version of our sprite. Congratulations, you are now fully set up with the majority of the tools that we will be using. So good luck and let's start creating some awesome pixel art.